giving you all your sides and everything and your drinks and they can cook your fish. That's true, boy. That's, that's him going out on sleep. The edge, get in that corner. No, 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 Mike, I'll hand you the rod. That's the wrong rod. Oh, that's Steve. Corey's the man of steel. I'm the man of the hour. That's right. You were the man of the I'm hour. The man you, brought, of the well, you brought in yeah, what, three man. fish in 10 minutes? 15 minutes? Yep. That's pretty impressive. Okay, we got eight, eight, eight fish so far. Uh, we we lost two, and Steve's on the ninth on the ninth fish we got on today. That'll give us seven fish in the box. We got another 120 pounds of salmon in the box. So today has turned out to be a really, really good day. Go, Mark. I got you. What was it? All right, we gotta get Mike seated. Okay. Sit down, Mike. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Corey. There. What do you got there, buddy? What do you got there? Oh, I thought you was eating Fritos. <laughs> Sounds like Fritos, Mike. Yeah, buddy. There's no time to eat right now. Steve and Mike's fish were so big that we ended up getting a third fish on. We ended up pulling Corey, he drug it in, and then they got another one that drug it. I drug it in, and then Corey got another one, and I got another one, so we ended up with four fish in between the two that Mike and Steve were fighting. A lot of fish, Mike, and Okay, anyways, um, it just don't get better than this, and now we're getting ready to head right back over that school again. Corey was the Iron Man. He Iron brought in three fish right. there. That was awesome. I'll tell you what, them fish, they oh. got some tug to them, don't they, Corey? Oh. Yeah, you just, when you can gain on them, Steve, you can have a gain on them. Yeah, I know. And they could be a $40 fish, Steve. Oh, well, you got them in yet. Huh? Don't have them in yet. Was that you or him? I got a couple feet on him. Get him, Mike. No, 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 Get him, Mike. Right there. All right. And they get all the big ones, Corey. <laughs> That's how we like it. Yeah. This is a little more manageable. Yeah. Still a nice fish, but uh, not like the last one. It's getting close on the board, though, Corey. They're taking it off. That's as much as you're gonna get. Yeah, that's fine. Let's let them wear it out. It's gotta be right here, huh, Mike? Mike's winning his end. Down. One more down and up. Don't let it rip, don't let it rip. Bring it towards me. One more down and start pulling over. Got him. Way to go, Mike. Don't let out. Let's keep that fish from the other side there. Keep that tension on her. Yep, 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 yep. Hold up, keep the tension out of that. Can you back over here? Good. Oh yeah, nice kill. Nice one. Can you back over here? No. Yeah, well you could you could stay there, but you just gotta angle that rod to the left. Okay. Yeah, nice shot. Perfect. Yeah, he is long. He's not really heavy. No. But he's definitely long. Yeah, the fish today. Where do you want me, Mr. Mark? I want you in the far corner over here. Can you keep right. coming to sound of my voice? Whoa, now go to your left. Go to your left four feet. So you hit the edge, Got get in you. that corner. No, 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 Mike, I'll hand you the rod. That's the wrong rod. Oh, that's Steve? This is you, right? Okay. There you go, Mike. Oh, he's a good fish. He's great. Oh, yeah, he's a great fish. What's that? Right there, Mike. Yep. That's really good. Yeah, well, you know, he is a fish. You can do as much as you can do. Why don't you give why don't you give Mike a little room, Steve, to shift over? 
But you could you could be on that other corner. You just gotta have your rod tip all the way to the left. I think. Oh, Mike just lost his. Oh, it's rod swimming towards us. I got him. He's still on there, is he? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know either now. Yep. Real. Yeah, he's on there. He's just swimming towards us. You gotta keep up. He does that. Was this on a rigger? No, it's on a board. Oh yeah, I definitely got a fish. He was just swimming towards us. Come on, boss. Come on, boss. Real, real. <laughs> Good day. Corey's the man of steel. I'm the man of the hour. That's right. You were the man of the I'm hour. The man you, brought, of the YouTube. you brought in yes, what? Three man. fish in ten minutes? Fifteen minutes? Yep. That's pretty impressive. Okay, let me get it. I'll back up. Here for the JT. Stay, be ready, Mike. If he's still on here, if he is, he's a small fish. Take it off. Yeah, it was a small one. He was on there when I handed it. No. Yeah. Yeah, I got there you go. He's on. Keep pitching. He's on. He's on. About a 10 pounder, Mike. Somewhere. Yeah. How many fish are you about 20 feet out. What's a nice king, Mike? Left, 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 Got him, Mike. Good job. Way to go, Coming up, boys. That's a nice fish. Okay, let's get that fish out of the net before he jumps around. Is that one hook out? No, that one hook out. Fish out. He's out. Fish out. He still got some guts to him, don't he, Steve? Hopefully. I have a, a catchy name. Uh, Corey's rod holder? Nah, that's too chintzy. Rod holder don't sound good. No, that's chintzy. I think we can, I think we can do better. Yeah. Mustang Sally? Mustang Sally? Well, <laughs> that's if you were using the wrong side of the hole, maybe. But, uh... <laughs> Mustang Sally. <laughs> You've been reading too many westerns, Corey. I don't think that was in a western. No. Uh, this has been a pretty remarkable day. Steve's got a, we got 10 fish in the box and Steve's got another big one on. He hasn't been able to hook anything. When his turn comes around, it's always a big one. It blows me away. You know there's silver block, what's on there, Jason? Silver, you said another one? Yeah. It doesn't matter which one. Yeah, Steve's on, his, on our 11th fish right now, and he's been fighting this thing for about 35 minutes, and we're all really eager to see what's going on and how big this fish is. This is a nice one. Yeah, we think so. Yeah, that long. There you go. Is the planer on? Planer's on. Yay. Hit the mark charters. Steve's been on this fish for about 45 minutes. Finally got it tired down. He's bringing it in. Just bring it nice and back. Down. No, you can stay in the same position. Follow the rod. Now crank down on him. Now lift up, lift up, start walking backwards. We got him, boys. All right. Yeah. Here we go. He made you coming work. up. Nice big king. Watch out, nice watch out. out. Sorry. Nice. Good job. Hold on. That one beat the snot out of you, this Sure did. That's a good I one. Tell. All right. Good We're good. <laughs> Stop. Yep. That's a nice fish. Good to see him in the boat. Alright, so we just got this king. 
Steve was fighting it for about 45 minutes. It's a nice one, it's a very respectable king in the, in the 20 pound range, maybe 22. Um, fish are like people, they're different. Sometimes a 25 pounder will come in quick, sometimes a 20 pounder will kick your butt. This one sure did, good right. work. So now we're now we're back over our spot, guys. Let's just see if they're We're gonna go back and forth over this. Fish this feels pretty good. Later. Later. Ain't going nowhere. Not for a while, huh, Corey? Nope. Oh, your feet, though, Corey. You're good. Keeping that tension on it. Now, is that the fish taking some back? No, he's reeling it in. Oh, you're the man, Corey. He's doing really good. He's doing really good. No problem. Right now, just keep doing what you're doing, buddy. There you go. Turn the other. At this angle, that's the only promise can happen right here. Yeah. Once I get this board off, I got it. I got it. Okay. Get out of the way for a minute. I'm going to have to get over here. Am I out of the way? Yeah, you're fine, Mike. Okay. You guys can just stay right and do what you're doing, and I'll be. I'll have the board for you in a second. I'll have the rod back for you in a second. Board's off. Oh, he's pulling Oh. He's jumping at all. Might be a steelhead actually. Really? That'd be cool, Mark. Yeah, he's tight on there. He's tight on there, Mark. Oh, yeah. I just saw the fish jump, so. All right, I'm backing up. Watch out, watch out. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. There you go, real. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth, Corey. There you go, buddy. Yeah, that's perfect, Corey. Tell you what, I can feel that fish pulling on the back of this wheel here. Yeah, can you? Yeah. Steel that's a pretty good one. If it is a steel, it's going to be a good one. What well, was he back there, three miles? John coming in. He's about he's about 70 feet back. Keep on trucking. Keep on coming, buddy. Jake, you give me that net over here. Come over, Corey. There you go. Here, we go, buddy. You're just about there, Corey. Now, Mike, start back in that wheelchair back about three feet. Hold on, don't pull, don't pull, hold up, 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 up. Now, real, real, real. Real, buddy, real. Done. Oh. Thanks, Captain. So, what I'm going to do is try to straighten him out when he's back to him up there. Keep reeling. Back all the way in. Nice. Yep. Keep sailing. That's perfect right there. Perfect. Keep coming. It's a nice one, boys. Reel down. Reel. Pulling out the door. 
Real, 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 real. Can't reel anymore. He won't go. Yes. <laughs> it's a big one, Corey. It's a big one, buddy. Okay, let's get Corey back over here. I can feel that on the back of the wheelchair. Get Corey back over here. I'll get out of it. Oh, you're good, Mike. Sit right back down where you were. Okay. Coming up. Oh, that's a good one. That's a big one. This one might. It's gonna put your. It's gonna be pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close, pretty close. Pretty cool, Corey. Okay. We might have to lay them side by side, Corey, and see. Hi, buddy. It's my life, buddy. Hi, fish. Got it? Okay. Get down, throw it up. It is on board. Oh, yeah. You got it? Okay. You want to get, let Dylan get in there now. Let Dylan get in there. There you go. What do you think, Corey? That's awesome. That's a nice fish, buddy. Really? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. You gotta get him to confess. I said, sir, I don't even know the guy. I don't know how I'm supposed to. So I called the uh, the landowner. Mm -hmm. And I told him what was going on. And he called the guy that did it. Well, he convinced him he needed to own up, but the guy owned up. That could have been ugly. I mean, talking with you the last two days, you can tell you're a great shooter. I think you just had a conversation and you can figure that out. But if he wouldn't have... I heard you in a train out there. Go out there. That's the best one. Bring him up. Yep, he's coming. Stop. Nice coho. Yeah, good eats there, man. You got yourself a good one. Big coho, huh? Yeah, nice eating. Way to go, Mike. Nothing wrong with a little coho. You're on deck again, Steve. Yep. <laughs> yeah. He'll fish the box nice. He'll just go between the cracks. Yeah, that's the mortar between the bricks. There you go. So that was my brush with the law. Yeah, Barry, the board. You no, know, it's a big one. Is it? Because it was yes. It sounds like it's all in the big one. Was that pulling mine out? Or? Yeah, it was pulling that one. Okay. Pull the board under. When that board, now you gotta keep looking too. When that board's on the surface, now real, 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 real. Okay. Is he still on or you got the fish? Real? This might be off. I don't know yet. Uh, you got a real big gift that catches up on it, can't stop. Keep turning, JP. I don't think you got him. We have that real. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. No, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, that one. And I didn't say cheap shot. I had to drag. I'm 
not going to tighten up yet. It's still going to reserve some energy. Today, we had a, a wonderful trip today. Uh, we ended up with 12 nice ones. A great grand finale for the end of the week. Uh, Corey's cheesing it. It's good to take a lot of salmon home. Enough for a year for them, anyways. We're really looking forward to next week. We got two weeks left. So, we'll look forward to seeing you again next week. What do you think, Corey? It was awesome, man. Yep. Did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. Fish. I think you caught the biggest one again. Rock and roll, man. Yeah. You eat those browns? Those small ones, I do. Yeah. When we first started this foundation, uh, and we, we started it in California, but when we actually first started working with clients, um, we had a lot of people that we met that never dreamed they'd be able to do the kind of things that we're teaching them how to do. And uh, matter of fact, I had a kid that I was working with from Louisiana, and he's got retinitis pigmentosis. He's going blind, but he ain't there yet. And we invited him to come to the camp, and he hunted, and I ended up getting a deer uh, just before dark opening day, and it really bothered me because I live right. I lived right there at the time, and I could get a deer any time I wanted to. And I was sitting there praying to God, "Why me? I'd have rather seen Isaiah get this deer." And uh, I just kind of dropped it. And later on that night, Isaiah's grandpa came up to me and he says, "Mike, you have no idea how important it was to Isaiah that you got that deer." And I asked him, "I said why?" And he says, "Because." He's, he's going blind, he knows it's coming and he's so scared. And he says, he came up to me and said, do you realize today the only guy who got a deer was a guy who can't see nothing? He says, I'm gonna be able to still do this. And that's what we're shooting for, is to let these guys know they don't have to quit. There's lots of things that they can still do. It doesn't have to be hunting and fishing. That's the lure or the bait that we use to get these guys to come in here so that we can work with them. We're what you would call pre-rehabilitation. Um, you have an accident like what happened to me happen in your life at 32 years old where you go totally blind instantly. Um, you're going to have to rethink what you've been thinking. If you're interested in donating, we have a, a website. It's Christ Outreach for the Blind. We're just hooking it up on PayPal this week. So we'll have a way to donate there. We also 